Good morning. It's that time. It's quote time. I enjoy sarcasm. I like coffee. In fact, with the conditions I'm suffering from, chronic fatigue and fibromyalgia, I require coffee. And maybe three people. I enjoy sarcasm, so try not to take my shirts to heart, even though the messages you send to others are read loud and clear. It's not that I don't like more than three people. In fact, I, I have an affinity for the entire human race. I have a, a great love of all people. A great desire to contribute and to help and to make life better for most everyone. Especially people like me who are not your typical sect of inspirational videos talking about how to make a million dollars or be the next CEO. People that are just trying to master themselves, their inner world, their outer conduct, improve their character, and lead a quality, fulfilling life for themselves, despite obstacles, limitations, physical conditions, mental health conditions, isolation, developmental disabilities, disabilities of all kinds, people that struggle that these monumental motivational speeches, these how to change your life videos on YouTube don't seem to meet the needs of people like me. People that struggle. So my channel is meant to be relevant on the most basic levels of understanding that you have an inner world that you need to monitor, modulate, modify, and maintain and grow daily on your character on trying to gain hope maintain hope and eventually through stability and gradual step-by-step -step decisions and improvements and self-monitoring and mastering your inner self that you can recognize that you have agency and begin to advance your outer circumstances don't let life beat you down and don't beat yourself down the shirt kind of does relate to the topic to a degree, except rather than like three other people, it's more like truly, deeply value 
and invest in and foster and grow and deepen a small group of quality people. When it comes to friends, it's quality over quantity that's going to improve your life. You could have just one person in your life that you can tell everything to. You can be 100% authentically you with, and they love and respect you. They want to be around you. They see you for all that you are and they love and validate you. You invest in each other mutually. You have a deep, healthy companion to get through life. We need more than just a romantic partner. We need friends in this life. Friendship. A best friend. It's a different type of relationship than what is given by our romantic entanglements, than what is given by our family. You don't need to spread your resources so thin trying desperately to please everyone or try to get everyone to like you. you know, one will ever have a fulfilling life that way because you will be a people pleaser. You will burn yourself thin trying to please everyone and you can never please everyone and you're guaranteed that some people just will not like you for no apparent reason or perhaps the way you wear your hair reminds them of an ex-girlfriend they hate or your nose looks like their ex-boyfriend they hate or they just dislike you for no apparent reason. Not everyone is going to like you and that doesn't matter. You don't need everyone. You do need someone, at least one. Deep and meaningful reciprocal relationship where you both ex see each other for all that you are, are able to be open with all that you are and all that you get up to. And share your heart and your life with this other person. Share your truth with this other person. Grow in intimacy and depth and experiences with this person. Having at least one quality friendship in your life. One deep, true friendship in your life will greatly improve the quality of our lives. So when you're thinking love, don't just think romantic love. Think friend, try to strengthen bonds that are pre-existing, try to narrow it down to the people that are quality, that see you, that value you, that add to you and you to them and try to advance those looser associations into deeper bonds. Someone that you could pick up the phone at any time of day and just ring up to have a conversation. We all need that in our life. We are not meant to be alone. We are not meant to feel invisible and invaluable. And although your partner or your spouse, if you're in a relationship, is your primary relationship, they cannot bear the brunt of being the only source of your emotional and social support. You need a friend to confide in. 
the kind that is enduring over years, perhaps if you're lucky, a lifetime. Life is short. Even for those who live a long time. And we must live for the few who know and appreciate us. Hence the long lead in. Your time is valuable and precious. Human connection is valuable and precious. Being seen and accepted and valued and loved exactly as you are will help you to love yourself more as you are instead of continually fault finding with yourself. People appreciate being seen, heard, and validated. And you need to have few enough friends that you have the time to dedicate that same reciprocal level of energy, capacity, love, interest, investment in them in knowing them. Positives, negatives, mistakes, gains, wins, shared experiences, separate experiences you share about, that they can call you any time of day and you'll pick up the phone and you'll be there when they need you. And they They are worth your time and energy. A lot of people and a lot of things in life want our time, require our time, require our energy. And we're constantly being pulled in too many different directions and spread too thin. But human connection is inherently important. Loneliness is actually as detrimental to our health as smoking 15 cigarettes a day. It is important that we have a sense of belonging. And in order for you to have a sense of belonging, you can't have superficial friendships. You have to have a deep and meaningful bond, a true legitimate friendship with at least one other person walking this planet. Work toward that if you do not have it. And if you have it, do not take it for granted, neglect it, begin to let it slip. And if you're spreading yourself all over the place trying to please everyone, stop. Narrow it down. And instead of breadth, go for depth of relationship and, and expect to reciprocate anything you expect to receive. If you want them to love you as you are, you must love them as they are. Flaws and all, idiosyncrasies and all. If you expect them to help you when you need to move their apartment, you better go over there and help them when they need to move theirs. If they come, crying to you in the middle of the night. You better pick up the phone and be there for them because you don't know when you're going to need that yourself. Don't expect to give or to get what you're not going to, to give. And we, we only have a little time to live. Even if we live a hundred years, it's still so short. So don't waste your time with the many. 
with the toxic, with the detrimental, with anybody that asks you of your time, with anybody that asks you to do this for me, to do that for me, to be here for me, to respond to me, anybody that tries to get your attention, anybody that tries to take your attention from the things that really matter and the people that really matter. The older you get, the more and more and more valuable your time becomes, the more limited it becomes. So you can't just make yourself available for anyone and everyone that seeks to grab your attention. You have to limit your focus, set boundaries. Be kind to everyone, of course. But dedicate yourself and your efforts and your aims, your heart, your head, your time, your energy, your focus on developing and deepening relationships with those few select people maybe three that are worthwhile, good people, good influences that love and care about you, that you enjoy spending time with, that you would enjoy spending more time with, that you are willing to invest the commitment required for a deep and meaningful, healthy friendship. because we don't have the time to spare on people that are just using us. People that could care less unless they need you. Feeling utterly alone and isolated despite being surrounded by so many people because you're not really close with anyone. It's important to human well-being to have at least one, perhaps three. Don't overdo it. Don't overextend yourself. <laughs> Real, deep quality friends. Because life is short even for those who live a long time. And we must live for the few who know and appreciate us. Make those few, you can't twist their arm, <laughs> try to make those few know their worth their value, their importance in your life, and deepen those bonds. You should know and appreciate them as much as they know and appreciate you. And let go of spreading yourself, your resources, then on the many the any Woo. and everyone and anyone that seeks a slice of your life and time or tears you down to their time with you or trying to make everyone happy or giving up trying. It's very valuable. It's worth the effort. And wise discretion on who you put the effort into. Good morning.
by. I'm putting off doing the yoga. I haven't had enough coffee. And this video, as usual, 20, 11, 12, 13 is too long. So, love you guys. Good morning. Goodbye. Find a best friend. Try. It'll improve the quality of your life in, in many, many, many ways. Loneliness kills. But invest in the right person. Good morning. Goodbye. That's it. Yeah.